Well, hello, Brandlanders. It's good to see you guys again through the interwebs. In this episode, we are actually going to start working on our um, extra floating island that's going to be holding up the pillar that holds up the house. So buckle in for an exciting time, and let's start building together today. All right, here we are. We're going to get going on our building project. Ah, water. We're going to get going on our building project for our floating island. Um, let's get up there and actually design sort of the outline for it and get this thing going. So it's my goal to try to finish a lot of this island quickly now that I am a experienced floating island builder. Here we are with the forever ladder again. Woo! Never ending. So my wife... Um, Oh, sorry, I was thinking about like three things at once. So my wife went to the movies with a very young friend of ours uh, today, and it was an exciting time for her. Um, they had a good time. They went and saw Frozen again. My wife and I had already seen it, and uh, they had come in, and she was so excited about how good it was and everything, and um, it was just one of the cutest moments ever. There we go. All right, there's, you know, there's a, a lot of movies out there that I am really, really wanting to see right now, and unfortunately... I have not had a lot of time to do so just because of work. Um, I want to make this island... Oh, quick change of subject. I want to make this island um, uh, roundish, but not too big. So we're just going to kind of create a rough outline real quick and then um, get this thing filled in. There we are. All right. Hmm. Maybe we'll just kind of create a small outline and, and see how it looks and go from there. So there's my pillar. I'm really excited um, about how this is all going to look when it's done because it's going to help solve that problem of the house looking like it's just tipping over. I know my floating island is huge with the mass with all of these mountains and stuff on it, but if you consider the fact that the house is gigantic in itself, um, when you look at it from sort of a side view, um, it's just it's still just still just not enough island. So this is going to help me balance that out and make it a, look a little bit prettier. So the way that I, I probably could do this, which would be faster, is build it from the bottom up, from the upside down mountain part first. But I don't want to do that and then be disappointed with the actual um, diameter or radius of what I've got going on here with my floating island. So we're going to do this first. Um, and kind of like we did with the other one, create like a, a flat dirt island and take a look at it from the top. So anyways, I was, I was talking about movies. So th there's a lot of good ones out there, I think, that... Um, I just not have have not had time to see. Um, there we are. There's a uh, there's that new paranormal one that came out, which you know didn't make as money much money as the other ones, but after it makes like six dollars, it's it's got a profit going on it. So so I mean those are always interesting. And then that that sequel for it's coming out soon, and I don't want to be sort of left behind and in, in the going ons of that. There we go. Careful, careful, careful. There's my extra crafting bench down there. Hello, crafting bench from a distance. Um, so, and it has been interesting. Our life is a little bit um, less ours. We share it now, so we can't just get up and go to the movies anymore. We've got that, like, uh, new parent type feel, which has been super, super exciting, um, but very different for us because we're used to, you know, what am I doing? I'm, I want to expand it this way. I was removing it to put dirt there. That's funny. We're used to just doing our own thing, and we've been sharing our life, which is been a thousand times more exciting but um but different for us because we have to actually organize and plan and think about things before we do them um, i think that's a pretty good outline let me do some fill in and i will be right back all right there it is from a distance i think that's about the size we're going to go for because we're going to make a little drop down here and extend it out a bit i'm happy with it let's fill it in back up top now we got a little sunset going on gonna fill this in and make it look beautiful and um, we'll add on the the lower level here and not lower level but lower part of the island where this will kind of drop off to I'm thinking a waterfall we'll have to see how it looks as we sort of terraform the small version of the project um, there we are there. excellent so as far as frozen is concerned um, I know Disney has some other exciting projects that are coming out uh, 
the Pixar movie has been working on the, the dinosaur, or the, the Pixar company has been working on the dinosaur movie for a while. And from what I can read, it seems like the directors kind of got realigned a few times, which is not super rare for a Pixar movie. It's happened a couple times, and the projects have still come out pretty good. So got to trust John Lasseter and company. They always come through and do a great job. So um, I'm excited for that one. Oh, careful. And I've been reading a lot on the um, new Star Wars that are coming out, the sequels that Disney has been working on. And it's like crazy, just some of the things that, that you read and the ideas people have, whether or not Harrison, Harrison Ford will be in it and um, what kind of effects that there's going to be, just the drama that surrounds them, especially in uh, <laughs> in our gaming culture, if you will, is just is just crazy. You know what? Let me fill the rest of this in, and uh, we'll be right back to build more. All right, filled in and ready to go. I'm going to actually build down this part of the island just a little bit. Um, just to create us a, a little bit more dirt that juts out so it doesn't look like just a flat dirt piece on top. So I try to keep that in mind as I build. So let's start working on that natural look right now. Oh, ah. So there'll be parts where I build it out and then there'll be parts where I do not. Just depending on how I want it to look at that certain juxtapose. Wrong word, but uh, I'm not afraid to use the wrong words. Easiest way sometimes to do this would be to add a block and take away at places where I don't want other blocks. There we go. Hmm. Let's put one here, under there, and then put one here. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. There we are. Yes. You know what? I want one underneath this one. So this is how we do this. Got a little nervous there. Almost fell. <laughs> Uh, building down is not always the most fun thing in the mining uh, game here, <laughs> so I tried to do it carefully because it just takes a little bit more work than building up. There we are. All right, I'm going to add more all the way around, and I will be back, and we will continue our project for the pillar and the island. Beautiful, here we are. I've got the second layer down. I'm going to do a little experimenting and figure out how far down I want to bring down the other part of the island for maybe the little waterfall that I'll be working on that'll go between the two of them. Um, so we'll be right back in just one second as I work on that. Here we are again at the top. It's time to bring this down. I've decided um, two layers between the different levels. So I'm going to bring this down another one and another one. Um, to sort of sink into the second part of the island. And you guys will see what I mean here in just a few minutes. Here we are. I think I'm going to go for more of an oval shape between the two. So we'll put this here, that there. That makes sense. Okay. You know what? I should lay out a couple torches so you guys can see. Whenever we convert this over into a, um, a video, it really does darken it just a little bit, especially depending on your monitor. Here we are. So this will be the third layer. And then we're going to go down one more from here as it wraps into the next layer. And then the waterfall will come from a little pond up there. Down these and into maybe another little pond. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to orchestrate that yet, but I'm excited about how it's going to look when it's completed. Just be careful here as we extend out our scaffolding. Get a little more light for you. Here we are. Let's put one there. Let's extend that out a bit. One there, and there. Yeah, why not? Put that there. Try not to square it off too much. Here we are. Ooh, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Eh, let's go this way. Sometimes I build my scaffolding in the wrong direction along the way. Right there. And keep in mind, we're going to go down one more level before we create the island. So essentially, this layer of the island will be at this height that I'm walking on with the scaffolding right now. Great. Whoops. Well, I guess I can leave that there. A little bit of waste is okay with all the dirt that I have from uh, previous projects and whatnot. There we are. Great. 
Okay. So I'm going to do that all the way around in a way and some parts not. I'm thinking I'm just going to build down on this half and then work on the second part and then work on the stone from the bottom up. So let's bring this down one more layer, create the outline for our next um, part of the island. Let me get this next one done and we'll check it out. All right, here we are finally on the new floating island, the lower level. I'm going to finish this outline that I've just started. Just hop back up here after bringing it down. We've got one, two, three, four. So our waterfall will come down this way into a little pond we dig into the mountain, into the uh, to the island. So I'm thinking we keep it sort of a there we go, a uh, ovalish shape, but try not to make it too perfectly round. And I don't want it to be too ovalish off of the previous um, island. I want it to sort of cut in just a little bit, almost like two separate circles that create one larger oval. Um, but I think when I actually do the bottom parts, it's probably going to um, cut into it and change it a little bit because you just keep adding on and adding on. It does slightly change your shape um, as you build it. There we are. Ooh, it's funny. I'm actually watching... Uh, in between my video cuts here, I know this one does have a lot of video cuts. I'm watching some theories on how they built the pyramid, or the Great Pyramids, I guess, and it's actually super interesting. Um, a lot of the stuff that I read or hear, and I'm interested in architecture, and uh, the way that things have happened or have been built as I build this, I thought it was just kind of funny that that's something that I'm looking to or building, something that's made out of blocks. <laughs> and here we are using blocks. Um, but it's really cool. This guy has a theory about uh, pulley systems and everything that they may have used. and um, it, He's different because he's not a normal Egyptologist. He's a architect who just became interested in how it may have happened. And it's been great to watch him do it, or to come up with this theories. He spent years on it. And it actually seems like he might be right. Ooh, there we are. Okay, I'm going to fill all this in, and we'll check it out and begin working on the next steps of the floating island. I will be back in just a moment and we'll continue on together, see if we can get this project uh, mostly done in a video. How exciting. Moving along quickly with this one. Great. There it is, the look that we're going for. I will start working on the upside down mountains and adding on some dirt layers here uh, to give it a look. I think we'll bring this upside down mountain down a little bit further since it's the biggest part of the island and then maybe even this one a little bit. Looking at this, I, I wonder. Should we add in another pillar or widen the pillar a little bit here? I'm wondering what it's going to look like when we put it up in a little landscaping and water. Um, how exciting! I was up here uh, getting some stone for the project for the upside down mountain of the smaller ones and got this view. And I am loving that. That looks really great. Uh, maybe we can do something to make this less flat. I don't know. Um, but that'll look nice when I get some grass on there. I'll place some grass blocks in there and we can uh, watch it grow and see the finished product eventually. Taking a look at how I'm going to do the upside down mountain, I'm thinking about halfway up the ladder here is about right. That should be 17 or 18 blocks. We'll go in the middle of the island and start that project. So let's head on over. Yeah, how interesting the Egyptian pyramids are. I, I think it's super exciting when people come up with different ideas or, or different theories on, on how, how they did it. Here we are. There. One day they'll try to figure out how I did this because my YouTube videos will be lost forever. Let's go right from the middle. Yeah, let's go right from the middle. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Um, let's go up one more just for fun. I think that'll be good. Yeah. You know what? Let's stick with the 17. Go down. <laughs> I'm going to add on some stone layers. And we will continue this stone project just like we have uh, ones in the past. Uh, let me build this up. I'm going to try to do this quickly since I've done this many times now. Uh, I will show you guys how it looks here in just one second. Awesome. Can't wait to see the finished product. looking great on the upside down mountain. I'm going to cut out this piece here that I made to do for the dirt to get up there and that I will add on this the second piece and we'll take a closer look at it maybe even bring that down one more block just to give it a little bit more length on the bottom. I tried to keep it centered a little bit more symmetrical and round than most of mine um, because I want it um, to look balanced because it's such a small 
island. So nice. Let me do those few things and we'll take another look. All right, excellent. Here's the view of the island that's completed from really, I, I guess this is what I consider the back side of the island. Um, you guys don't see me on this side too often in a few of the videos you have, but I'm really pleased with the way it's turning out. I think in a future video we'll finish up the water and some of the trees and landscaping we're going to put on the island to make it look a little more natural. But let me show you what it looks like from the front. Alright, here it is. The finished, really, uh, foundations for the islands. Looking much, much better. I'm happy with it. Uh, thanks for coming in to Bryland again, all you Brylanders. Please uh, like it, subscribe it, share it. And uh, thank you again for coming on another adventure. I'll see you again soon.